So a few weeks ago I was on a Facebook group talking with a bunch of audio engineers and whatnot and I noticed the lad posted asking for people who had YouTube channels. So I got in touch with him, I sent him over the RGIX video I recently did, links down below. And he said, look Alex, I'm making some drum samples, some relatively affordable ones. And it'd be nice if you could check them out. Now before we take a closer look at Gentle the Drums, let's just take a look at a couple of the features of it. First of all, it's five different drum sounds in there. You've got your kick, your snare, and three toms. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with any cymbals, but I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough on the internet, you'll find some free cymbal samples that you can use. Cymbal samples. In my case, I'm using Stephen Slate drums, uh, version four platinum for the cymbals, and I'm also using a little bit of room mic on there as well. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. The thing that immediately struck me about Gentle Hugger drums was how simple it could be um, for the beginner user, but also how much you can get out of it as someone with a little bit more experience, um, perhaps right through to the professional level. I don't consider myself a professional, I consider myself a failure. So what makes it awesome in my opinion is that if you have a look at the uh, user interface you'll notice that each drum has three sliders on it. What these are essentially are three different elements of the sound. So when we look at the kick, we've got that nice deep thump, we've got that nice high-end click with a lot of presence, and then we've got other parts of the frequency uh, that, that fill out the sound. If you're just starting out, if you just want to write demos, however you want to use it, this sort of thing is going to make it very easy for you. Now, when you open it up, especially in Cubase, uh, each one of those sliders has its own independent audio channel. So what I recommend doing is summing those to a single bus. So in my case, I have five buses, one for kick, one for snare, and three for each one of the tums. I adjusted the sliders within Gen Hugger drums, got them how I personally like them, and then I got to work using some of uh, Cubase's inbuilt effects, such as EQ and compressors, as well as some JST stuff, such as Finality Advanced and JST Clip. Now, even though this is called Gen Hugger drums, Obviously people are going to expect me to get out a 7, 8, 9 or 10 string. Um, no, I'm predominantly a metalcore player so when I get something like this I want to know how can I incorporate it into metalcore music. Now I've been using a bunch of different drum software programs over the years. Um, the, the main one that I used for about 2-3 years was uh, Addictive Drums. Now when I was a little bit younger and I was still in the band, our go-to drum sounds came from Easy Drummer, uh, specifically I think it was the drum kit from Hal Expansion Pack. Uh, as I got a little bit older, obviously Easy Drummer 2 came out, I started using metal and metal heads. Uh, and then eventually I found myself using Steven Slate Drums Platinum, which I've had nothing but success with. I've got a lot of love uh, and a lot of appreciation towards that program. Uh, it's really improved my drum sound for a long shot. If you have a look at any of my early videos, not that I wanted to, um, especially using things like Big Good Drums or Easy Drummer, uh, you'll notice that there's a, a big contrast between those and the drums that I'm doing now. Uh, eventually, I think I'm going to switch up to get good drums. Uh, the price is super low, but that's one of the main selling points of Gentle Good Drums. It's $20 in Cubase. We'll go over here, pull up Gentle Good Drums. We can have a look at the user interface, and there really isn't that much to see. We've got the kick, the snare, the three tums. We've got each one of the faders that controls the tone, and that's literally about it. We've got this snub here that controls the panning, all set to centre. There's not much to say, not much to look at, but what we'll get into, the most important part, let's hear how it sounds in the mix. For this demo, I'll be using my Ibanez Iron Label RGDIX 6 MPB. It's got an ash body with a maple finger neck. I've upgraded the pickups to bare knuckle juggernauts, uh, which just sound absolutely fantastic in this instrument. Uh, it's got a maple fretboard in the 26 and a half inch scale. Now, the last time you saw this guitar, it was tuned to drop A using, I believe, 12 to 64 Diodario strings. Um, recently, I found that I prefer this instrument a lot more in drop C using Diodario 11 to 56, and uh, that's what you're going to be hearing this time around. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 